Hello everyone, it's Spawn Point, and when I'm not gaming or reviewing tech on the channel, I sometimes leave the house. And when I do, these are the items or pieces of tech that I take with me. I'll go through them all today, and hopefully there will be a few ideas in here for your own EDC, but I'll have linked to everything below if you want to check them out. And before we jump in, thank you to LG Graham for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Ok so on a typical day where I'm just popping out for an hour or going to the cinema, I'm not taking a bag with me filled with tech. I'm grabbing three items, phone, wallet and keys. For the phone I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro Max and this thing goes with me everywhere. I use it to wake me up in the morning, check my socials like Twitter and Instagram and I use it to take every photo and video that you see from me. That includes my Instagram posts, reels and stories as well as my weekly YouTube videos, they're all shot on the iPhone. For photos, I drop them into Lightroom Mobile, select one of my presets and I tweak it from there. 9 times out of 10 it is good to go and it's the quickest and easiest way for me to edit them. Now the Max is a pretty big phone, but for me the slightly better battery and the larger screen outweighs the weight and the size difference over the normal Pro. But I do also have a 14 Pro that I use as my second camera when I'm filming, and that's how I film most of today's video. It often just sits on my desk on charge until I know that I need to use it for filming. Oh, and the cases, well I'm using the all black leather case from Apple, and I often swap between this and a couple of different Spigen ones, but I always come back to this one, although it is starting to look a little tired. Now like most of you, about two years ago I almost completely gave up carrying cash. Most places have gone contactless or accept Apple Pay that I rarely need to use cash. So because of that I have one of these very slim card holder wallets from Tayrock. It's big enough to carry about 8 cards or the essential cards that I need to keep with me, and it's small enough that it just slides into my pocket. There is a slot across the top that does allow me to keep a couple of notes with me if I needed to, but again 9 times out of 10 I don't really need to use it. And these are my keys, which obviously leave the house with me every day. Now we all know that unwritten rule, don't we, where you never put your keys or loose change in the same pocket as your phone. Well, I still stand by that. But this little key holder from Orbit Key is designed so your keys can be folded away when you're not using them. It also means they shouldn't scratch anything in your pocket and they won't rattle or jingle. I've got about 5 or 6 of these around the house, but they must have dozens of different designs on their site. Some are pretty underrated with solid colours, but they also do some limited edition ones including Star Wars. Now these are pretty small and they will only typically hold about 2 or 3 keys before it gets a little bit too bulky. But for an everyday carry, this is a great accessory to have. Ok so before I show you the rest of my EDC, I'd like to show you the LG Gram, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. So this is the 16 inch 2023 LG Gram, and let me start by saying this thing is ridiculously light. It weighs just over 2.5 pounds, which means carrying it around the house or in my bag when I've taken it out for the day is effortless. But just because it's light it doesn't mean it has to feel cheap. The body on this is made from magnesium alloy, so it's strong plus it looks nice with the thin body and the overall minimal design. As for the screen, it's packing a 16 inch IPS panel that supports a VRR or a variable refresh rate. This means the screen will display between 30 1Hz and 144Hz, and that depends on the content that you're showing. On top of that, it has a 16x10 rather than 16x9 aspect ratio, as well as Dolby Atmos support, so you're getting an overall better experience on visuals and audio. The other thing worth mentioning is the performance. This is packing the 13th gen Intel Core i7 processor, and an NVIDIA RTX 3050, plus a 512GB NVMe SSD and 16GB of RAM, so this thing is quick. Whether it's writing documents or editing photos and videos, this is plenty fast enough for most users. Now the 2023 model has also had a mega cooling system integrated, where the more strategically placed fans will improve the airflow to reduce temperatures. It's also great to see that it comes with decent connections. We have an HDMI port, two USB-C ports which are Thunderbolt 4 and a headphone and mic port. There are also two USB 3.2 ports and a micro SD card slot on the other side. And a big feature that I like is the LG Sync on mobile. This allows you to transfer files between an LG Gram and your phone, all through this piece of software. This is one of the biggest issues when using a Windows laptop with an iPhone, as you cannot use AirDrop. But this is awesome and works really well. So as an everyday carry, this is going to be the lightest option for anyone wanting a Windows laptop. I've dropped a link below to this laptop if you'd like to check it out. It's got the full specs as well as the price for your country. And thanks again to LG Gram for sponsoring today's video. Ok so these next pieces of tech are things that I take with me when I'm going out for the day or to the office. First up is the power bank. I'm using one from RAV Power and that's only because it was the cheapest that I could find at the time. Now it's not often that I get caught out but on the off chance that I do run out of battery on my phone or of course other items that I'm carrying, it's peace of mind knowing that I can charge it up. There's a USB-A and a USB-C port on one end and the battery LEDs on the other. 
The capacity of this one is 30,000 mAh, which will easily charge my iPhone five to six times over. But of course I could use it to charge my gimbal or any other item that I'm carrying. Now I've had this one for a few years now, which is why it's looking pretty beaten up. But that's because I take it out with me quite frequently and it always comes away on holiday. And to connect to that power bank, you don't really want to be carrying two or three massive USB cables. So I always carry this little USB in my bag. It's kind of a Swiss Army USB cable as it's got four connections. There's a Type A and a Lightning port on either end of the cable. And then if you pull the ends away, it reveals two USB-C connections as well. It is very short though, so you will struggle to use your device while it's charging. But the point of this is to have a very small USB device that you can fold away when you don't need it. It even has magnetic connections and a cap that covers the ends. Now this is something that is permanently in my bag, as it's not something that I would use at home. So on the days where I know I'm going to get some downtime, like lunch break at the office or travelling on the train, I will often take my PlayStation Vita with me. It means I can play a few Vita games or grab those easy Platinums while I'm away. Now I'll be honest, I rarely play the Vita at home, as I'll often jump on the PlayStation 5 instead. Although since filming this video, I have spent the last few days on it. It's such a great console and it still has some amazing games to play. And I'll tell you what, we really need a new PlayStation Portable. Remote play is great, but I want to see a new PSP or Vita. Let me know if PlayStation brought out a new portable console this year or next year, do you think it's something that you would use? Next up are these, my Gen 3 AirPods. These will get thrown in my bag as they will connect to both my iPhone and my Vita. So if I wanted to do some gaming without annoying anybody else, this is the best way to do it. The sound quality is great and I think they are pretty comfortable in my ears. At least I've never had an issue with them. Now, although I actually do have a pair of AirPods Max, I rarely wear these outside of the house so they don't form part of my EDC. I think the AirPods are a lot comfier and easier to take with me. And on top of that, the batteries on these last for hours. And then because the case doubles up as a power bank, it means when the AirPods are flat, I can charge them up this way. And this here is the best way to store all of these smaller items like cables, SSDs and my AirPods into one neat box. It's called the Orbit Key Nest and it's designed to store all of these belongings in one place. And it also means all of these items aren't just rolling around inside your bag. So these little dividers can be moved around as they are just Velcro. So it means you can adjust the space that you need. And the top part of the lid can either be flipped open or completely removed. And a really cool feature with the top is it actually doubles up as a wireless charger. So if you plug the provided USB-C cable into the back, you can either plug it into your mains or the power bank, it now turns the top part into a wireless pad. So this is great if you don't have a lightning cable to charge your phone, and instead you could use the top of this box. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I often wear a cap or a hat. It's literally part of my everyday carry. I'll either grab a woolly hat for those cold days, or now that summer is just around the corner, I can finally bring out the snapbacks. I often wear a black Vans cap, although I do have a very small collection of caps to choose from. I think every summer I add another one to the pile. Now I could tell you I wear some $300 glasses, but I'd be lying. Every pair that I buy gets thrown around between my car, my bag, and sometimes the kitchen drawer, and they get scratched a lot. So instead I just buy a 10 or 15 pound pair that looks okay, and I'm not overly bothered about losing or scratching. So these here were five pounds off Amazon, I've had these for a couple of years, and then these are 15 pounds from Vans. I've actually got about three or four pairs of these exactly the same style, but maybe one day I'll bite the bullet and buy a nice pair with a case. But for now, these do me absolutely fine. So towards the beginning of the video, I did show you my keys, but what I didn't explain was what this white circle is. Well, this is called an AirTag, and it's Apple's take on the tile. I've got a few of these around the house included in some bags and other items, but it means if I misplace or lose them, I can actually find them using the Find My app. It allows you to physically search and locate them, or if you tap the sound icon, it will play a loud beeping sound. When I first bought these, Apple said they should last about a year, but I've never replaced the batteries and they're still going strong after nearly two years. So I drink a lot of water during the day. While I'm at home, I'll often have a glass on my desk, but when I'm out, I'll either have one of these two water bottles. This is an all black chili bottle, which must be three or four years old now. I think they've actually changed their logo since this. And another one that I use quite often is this Yeti one. Although the Yeti is obviously a lot bigger, the chili bottle fits neatly in the side of my pocket. And although this isn't a tech accessory, it does form part of my EDC. And if you haven't guessed it already, this is filled with Yorkshire's finest water. And finally, this is the bag that I'm using. This one is from Passenger and it is super light. It also doesn't look like a tech bag, which I kind of like. It has all of the compartments I need for storing a laptop or other items without screaming this is packed with tech. The only downside to this is there's no real support or padding, so it's quite flimsy and doesn't hold its shape. And it also means anything inside isn't really protected from being broken if it was knocked. But as an everyday bag, this adds no weight to my back. 
And this goes everywhere with me, to the office, days out, and it's my holiday bag as well. So that was a quick look at my EDC for 2023. Some of these I literally carry with me every single day, while others are a few times a month or when I'm out of the house for the day. Now I enjoyed making this video today and it's given me the urge to do a day in the life type video. I'm not sure if this is something that you would watch, but let me know if it is. Now drop a nice EDC in the comments and I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end. And if you did enjoy today's video, check out my top 10 desk accessory video next, as that covers the tech that I use while I'm working from home. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, sub, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.